Hello everyone, I'm Trestor44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Abaddon. Last episode, we pretty much explored everything on the north edge of this river. We found Tartum, who is a tanner, I made air quotes there because he's actually a hand, and told us that there are people to the s that there's someone hiding to the south that we need to deal with. We found the ogres, who had stolen things from a caravan, and well, cleared them out. We found a mage up here, found undead over here, and found wretches over here and dealt with the issue that Hal that Halric wanted us to deal with. We're not killing all the wretches, but we did tell them Avid Avidon is not pleased. Now, well, it's time to finally go speak with the dragon himself. And see what can be done. And there are wretches out here. Okay, let's kill them. We may as well. <laughs> Hey, a level up! Yes, I also turned in the various quests I had. Okay. Okay. You leveled up, which means more strength for you, and you got your specialization. Battle, I believe, will be the best idea. Hmm. Warrior's focus would be very helpful. Some of these various skills would be very helpful. You know what? Path of the Berserker, one point in it. I'll see if I can get up to Blade Sweep, because that would be very helpful. It'll take another three turns before I'll be able to do it, but I think I'll be fine. Another three levels, I mean. We got quite a few of these guys coming for us. There we go. Kill all of the wretches out here. I think we killed all of the wretches out here. Yay! There must be more around here. I would not be surprised. Huh, or maybe not. Oh, maybe this was the camp they were staying in. Leather greaves, coins, an iron shield. I could actually use that. More iron razor discs you've already got. Leather greaves, I can wear those. Actually, hold on. You wear the leather greaves for now. Okay. Is there much more to explore around here? Nope, that's about it. And that leads into the dragon's cave. I don't know if I've actually been in here. I may have in the demo. I don't remember. Yes, I'm ready to leave. Let's go to Zethron's Airy. Okay. And here we are. You walk into the cavernous halls of Zethron's Airy, home to this region's most powerful and cooperative dragon. His lair must be set on top of a volcanic vent. The stifling heat within is enough to instantly make you miss the desert outside. There are piles of crates, supplies, and gifts from all around you. Keeping the dragon happy means a constant stream of food and other creature comforts, and earning his help requires a bribe of great magnitude. Not surprisingly, things don't seem to be under control here. There are no guards posted. Looking to the northwest, you can see several people cowering in a storeroom. And to the south, above the sounds of rumbling and hissing, you can hear the cackle of wretches. Great. Just great. It looks like most of the human staff of the Dragon Slayer is hiding in this cavern. Some of them have been wounded, probably when trying to fend off the wretch invasion. When you enter, a watcher, the commander of the soldiers here, walks up to you. She looks understandably agitated. You must be Jason. At last, someone has finally come to help us. I am Watcher Harissa of the Kava. The wretches have overrun the Outer Valley, and I don't have enough soldiers left to drive them out. You need to help us. Did you know I was coming? Yes, Avedon sent word days ago that you were coming. Unless it's a surprise inspection, they always let us know that hands are coming so we can be prepared. Not that it helped this time. 
There's something I need to know. And there will be time to talk later. For now, we need to drive those wretches out before Zethron starts roaring for his daily cow. The creature's in a bad enough mood already. What do you need from me? This morning, we were attacked by wretches. There must have been a hundred of them. They ran right in through the gate. Couldn't believe it. We killed about half of them and then retreated. We were preparing to attack them again, but then you showed up. It's about time Avedon came to help us. You couldn't fight off the wretches yourself? There were a lot of them. She shoots a nasty look at a man sh sitting by the cave wall. And Keeper Ilhan had me send most of my soldiers out to hunt the things. To keep the dragon happy. Never thought they would dare attack us here. You can't get rid of wretches, but there's a dragon here. Huh, <laughs> that beast... When they came in, he closed the gates and said that it was our job to deal with them. If you don't have a chest of gold, the dragon won't lift a claw for you. Alright, I'll solve your problem. I appreciate it, and as soon as I can get in there, I'll unlock the gate to the dragon for you. She points to the south. There that way. She turns to tend to a wounded soldier. Wonderful. Quite a few people here. This man introduces himself as Keeper Ilhan. He sits in the corner, humiliated and furious. I'm in charge of the chamber just outside the dragon's lair. Or I would be if our watcher hadn't been so careless as to lose control. To wretches! I can help you when we have control of the outer valley. Until then, perhaps your time should be spent tending to the wretches. He points at the woman watching you nearby. And their dead report to watcher Harissa. He returns to what he was doing before. Sitting there, quiet and miserable. There is a mix of soldiers, envoys, and dragon tenders sitting around this cave, bruised, humiliated, and miserable. They are waiting patiently for someone to get rid of the wretches so that they can reclaim their home. As you try to talk to them, they point at Watcher Risa, who is standing just inside the cavern. She is in charge until the wretches are gone. Okay, so I guess we can't actually learn anything until the dragon until the wretches are gone. So let's go deal with the bloody wretches. Shima notes the piles of supplies with amusement. So much expense and effort to hire a dragon. It's a strange thing. Do Hulklandians think that is honorable? Honorable? No, but having a dragon ally brings great prestige, which is just as good. This Ryozo, if he succeeds in hiring a dragon, it will lead to great elevation for him. Hmm. Well, that opens up the gates, which are already open, so we'll deal with that in a bit. That also opens the gates. So these are basically guard rooms. Over here, we can take this, and that, and that. Hmm, a horn, that's new. Alright, let's deal with them. The corridor opens up into a small valley. The ceiling opens up, revealing a clear sky. The sun is beating down on you again, but fresh air is a great relief after a sulfur stink of the dragon's caves. There are several pens, each full of cows awaiting their dinner engagement with the dragon. Some of the humans at work here have also planted some modest crops by the pool to the south. However, no people are visible here now. The wretches have overrun the area. They are looting the boxes, chasing the cows, and being an incredible nuisance. It's shameful that the warriors here have allowed themselves to lose control like this. Someone will have to answer for it. Well, I suppose it's best to deal with the wretches. Everyone is at least a little encumbered here. It's not that pleasant. This could be so much better. And you need a bloody bow. go, and there we go. That's those wretches dead. How many more are there? God only knows. Nothing of note in there. There's some water, which makes sense that they'd have some here. Ah, there's one. And we got a couple coins out of it. So nice. Okay. And here come more of the wretches. I can't even reach them, I'm so encumbered. Bloody hell. There we go. 
What's this sign say? Supplicant records north, Dragon's Lair west, guest quarters west. Supplicant records. Not really useful for us, but we can take those coins. So the Dragon's Lair is to the west. Okay then. And here are more of these. Whoa! Shaman Thrall. Well, okay then. Okay then. Go after those. We'll kill the shaman. Down goes the shaman. And there goes that guy. Oh yeah, health goes back up on its own. Very interesting. Tribal fetish, plus 5% critical hit chance. I'll take that. Uh, can be sold. Sage's rod. Might be useful for one of our mages. And a potion of health. Alright. This may go into the doors locked and we can't go in. Probably the same thing over here, and the answer is yes. Okay. There's the uh, crops that were mentioned over by the water. Doors locked, can't go in there. All right, what about over here? Is there anything? These must be their quarters quarters for the uh, humans who work here. Seems like that would be right. Sure, use a lockpick. Potion of health and a curing brew. Okay, then. And what's in here? Doesn't look like there's very much. And the alchemical equipment has value. And there's another lockpick. Which is good. Places are one we used up. Eerie workshops. Can't open that one. Probably open it after we've cleared everything out. Okay, more quarters here. Coins, nothing else of value. Ah, guest quarters. Hmm. Sure, let's use two. You search through the papers in this desk. They are the letters and notes of a Hulklandian commander named Riozo. Though these are private notes, being a hand of Avedon, you have every right to look through them. However, you find nothing but some supply ledgers and personal correspondence. Nothing about Riozo's plans or reasons for coming here. Hmm. Well, okay then, I guess we need to speak with him in order to find out. Which we'll do in a bit. I mean, we must... I think we killed all the, uh, riches. I think now we're just looking through locations. And stealing stuff. Nah, I'm not gonna pick that one. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, what the hell. Pick it. What's inside? Not really much. Coins, steel bracers, and that is really about it. Okay, that was kind of pointless. But on the plus side, we've uh, dealt with everything. So, give me a moment. I will cut it while I run back and report in. All right, let's report in. Ah, uh, the wretches are gone. You immediately have everyone's attention. It's clear. We can go back in. Thank you, Hand of Avedon. Once inside, I'll unlock the doors to the Dragon's Gatehouse. Good luck with that creature, and come talk to me later. I have paying work if you're interested. She gives you a nod and starts rousing everyone. Soon they are on their feet, ready to reclaim the lair. Hey, everyone's leaving. I have no idea what's through this passage over here. Alright, I suppose the best way to start would be to go see the dragon. He's probably up in there. Yep, everyone's going in there workers to get to work, everyone else to go to everywhere else. We'll start immediately with the dragon, and then we'll come out and speak with everyone. 
Uh, is there anything else you need? Watch her Harissa pass the bow on her shoulder. I'm ready to fight, but it's good to have other warriors around. Tell me about the forces under your control. I have three blades here under my command. That's 30 fine Kavas soldiers, well trained, all tasked to protect the dragon, but not enough. Protect the dragon? Does it need protecting? Not really. It insists on the soldiers, though, as tribute. And we kill the pests the, ra the dragon can't be bothered to hunt. Wretches can't hurt the beast, but they can slay the envoys. And the envoys are important people. At least they think they are. Where are your soldiers? Out scouting the wilds and hunting wretches. The pact hasn't been doing it. Avedon hasn't either. So keep her ill hand pesters me. Makes me send my warriors out with no regard for their safety. Not all are coming back. How is the dragon doing? Angry and getting angrier every day. I don't want to say more. I stay as far from that beast as I can. You can go see him. That is your job. Why is the dragon so angry? Because supplies keep sneaking into its... Because wretches keep sneaking into its lair. Slum slip in through the gate. Others burrow tunnels. Now they are attacking blatantly. It doesn't threaten Zethron, of course, but sees it as an insult. If dragons have anything, it is pride. You're in need of my help. I am. Well, not me, my men. I have had to send them out on patrols and raids trying to hold back the wretches. Some have not returned. If you go to attack the Hecra clan, I sent four warriors there not long ago. They have not returned, and I can't risk more to hunt them. Not with the raids coming to our own gate. If you let me know what happened to them, you'll be compensated. You would pay me for this service. Hands of Avedon have only ever helped us lowly soldiers for pay. Sometimes they are generous and ask little, but other times... Ah, it is the way of things. I must accept it. What will my reward be? We have some workshops and barracks that have fallen into disuse. They still contain valuable supplies. I can unlock them and let you take whatever you need. Tell me about them. As I said, there are four of them. A small scouting party, though they wouldn't mind killing a few wretches if, they, if a good chance came. They are led by a woman named Ace. My cousin and as skilled a scout as ever roamed the thickets. I do not think they're dead, but they might need help, and I want news. She smiles sadly. My uncle would be furious if he found that I sent Ace into danger without looking after her. Okay then. All right, fine. Let's uh, let's take a look at a few of these places then. There's nobody here. It's just the records hall, and it looked like someone would be sitting here, but apparently not. Well, okay then. Is there anyone around here? Ah, there's Keeper Ilhan. There's an old wise man walking in the clearing, shouting orders, inspecting the damage, and occasionally repairing a bit of fence or gathering up some trash. When you get close, he turns and bows to you. Greetings, Jason. I am Keeper Ilhan, master of the Outer Valley. This is a precarious time for us and for our relations with the dragon. We're overwhelmed, and the help you are giving us is most welcome. What do you do here? I have a vital job, not that it is appreciated. I am the master of this little valley. I make sure that the dragon's needs are properly filled, and so that he does not grow angry. We also provide security. This has led to many an argument between me and Watcher Harissa. Why aren't you appreciated? The warriors are in love with their weapons and themselves. The scribes work with paper instead of their hands, so they think that makes them superior. But I keep the dragon happy. Without my work, there is nothing. Tell me about Watcher Harissa. She loathes me because I press her to do what she's needed to keep the dragon content. She doesn't have enough warriors? Yes. She doesn't have not enough weapons? Yes. But get her to do what must be done? Then she blames me. The disaster with the wretches is not my fault, whatever she says. What are the dragon's needs? Well, there are the basics. Fresh water, cleaning, and a cow a day. And if there are any delays, the creature grows angry. Is that all the dragon wants? Also security, flattery, groveling. That is what it takes to get to live here in peace. For Zethron to actually help us, that requires much more lavish tribute. Why doesn't it hunt its own food? Because dragons are arrogant. It feels that being fed is attributed as due. Plus, Zethron seems to have developed a taste for cow. Uh, let's see. Keeper Ilhan continues to walk around the valley, a frenzy of activity and shouted orders. He takes the debris and disarray left behind by the repeated humanoid insult attacks as a deep personal insult. Can you tell me about the dragon? Uh, I know as little as I can. I am told its needs and I provide them. Otherwise I keep as far away from the creatures I can. 
That is the wisest force, I think, when dealing with dragons. All I know is that it must be kept happy, and we are failing at it. Why must it be kept help happy? Because otherwise it will not respect the pact, and then it will hunt our people instead of helping them. How does the dragon feel now? Furious, insulted, humanoids have attacked it, and it is so lair. Still, as long as it feels safe, I think it will be content. Do you need more help? Alas, I do. There are some pests that Zethron allows in his lair because they amuse him. Sometimes those pests attack our cows or our people. Then we must rid ourselves of them. There's a small infestation of fire lizards in the northern tunnels. If you were to kill them, I suppose I could give you a few stray bits of dragon tribute I kept to myself for this purpose. Sure, I can help you. I'm pleased. Kill a half dozen of the fire lizards and that will reduce their numbers enough. You can reach their tunnels through the back of Zethron's lair. I will speak with Keeper Thara and make sure that the gate to their tunnels is unlocked. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see if I can find, uh, that person we're supposed to speak to over here. Probably over in the guest quarters somewhere. There is a woman of the Wild Realm sitting at this table, looking warm, cooped up, and very uncomfortable. When she sees you, she nods. The Hand, yes? Jason? The one who killed the wretches? I am grateful. I am Teria of the Southern Tribes. Excuse me if I seem distracted. The heat is difficult for me. You're a long way from home. Indeed. The free roads made the journey easier. They give as well as take away. I am still eager to return home. You don't like the free roads. We of the Wild Realm feel that they to take our land, but that is not something to talk of when it is so warm. Teria sits at the table, a bowl of water in front of her. She alternates between sipping it and dipping a towel in it, in it and applying it to her forehead. Why have you come here? Mm, to see the dragon. The reason why is a guarded secret around here. I don't really understand why, but I will follow custom and keep my privacy for now. Can you tell me anything about the dragon? I have not yet seen Mighty Zethron, though I hear him roaring and complaining day and night. I'll be in to see him soon, I hope. Why? I offered gold and enchanted trinkets from our tribe, all we could afford, and then some. But the dragon did not want to travel all the way to our land, and his hunger for gold was greater than we could satisfy. I see. Oh, nothing over here. Maybe we can find the person and find out directly from him. Although, yeah, he didn't leave- no, nothing over here. Maybe Riozo's out here somewhere? Up here? Yes, Commander Riozo. There's a Hulklandian man sitting alone in this chamber. He is reading next to a dark fireplace. You aren't sure why the Pact built fireplaces in these quarters. Maybe it was cooler once. The man looks up at you, but he doesn't rise. He is noticeably tense. Greetings, Hand of Avedon. I am Commander Riozo. Excuse me if I don't rise. I prefer to be alone. If he is a commander, that means that he leads a force, a full thousand soldiers must have some influence in Hulklandia. You're from Hulklandia. I am, he says without looking up from his skull. Can you tell me anything about it? He doesn't look up. As I said, I am too busy to talk. All I can tell you about Hulklandia is that we know enough to be rid of those without honor. He doesn't elaborate, but Shima takes a step back. You are here to see the dragon. There is no other reason to come to this miserable place. Why? That is private. A foolish thing to ask to an envoy of his people. Go away, I will not say another word. And he doesn't. Okay, well, let's go see the dragon then, because I think that's all we really can do right now.